I'm Diane Woods and I work as field librarian at the Alexander Turnbull Library. So my job is to help gather the materials that we collect for the library. I'm free to travel around the country to do this and I help the managers of our different collections, the curators, to build up their collections. A lot of things are offered to us by people writing to us, either by email or by letter. And one day I received a letter from a woman in Canada offering us a photograph album and some photographs that had belonged to her mother. Her grandparents had lived in New Zealand a hundred years ago and these were about their life in New Zealand. She had friends coming to New Zealand on a holiday so I arranged to meet them at their Wellington Hotel. There were three or four photo albums and some loose photographs. I looked through them with them and very interesting to see photographs of the family coming to New Zealand back from London after they'd moved there. I found this album really delightful for the way that it showed informal pictures of what shipboard life was like a hundred years ago. I wrote to thank the woman in Canada who'd given them to us because building the collections by donation is really important to us and then I handed them on to the photographic archive curator for him to then take care of them. Of course I do go out and about to collect things but very often things just arrive on our mail desk totally unannounced so we do get wonderful surprises sometimes. And one day as I was walking past the mail desk Somebody said to me, look at these postcards that have just arrived, and there were about 20 of them. Lots of photographs, lots of cartoons, some of them were silk embroidered ones, and she said to me, I'm not sure which section of the library to give them to. Do they go to the photograph section, or because they've written on the back to manuscripts? So I, she held them up to me, I took one out of her hand, I turned it over, and it was from my grandfather in World War I. Well, I half recognised the handwriting first, and then I saw the signature in Spillman's an unusual name. I just shrieked. It's from my grandfather. It was absolutely amazing. It shows the Anzacs in France, New Zealanders loading ammunition, and it's got the New Zealand sh soldiers behind a bank there of shells. We realise the value of steel helmets when in the danger zone, but few care to wear them longer than absolutely necessary. The speed of the Anzacs is often commented on. Kind regards, F.S. Spillman. The real privilege of my job is that I go out and I see these collections in the context in which they were created, and I'm meeting the people that they're important to, and that's really special.